Hello, and welcome back to my modded world. We've had a little bit of a mishap, actually. Uh, this just happened. Um, what we were trying to do is, uh, well, actually, I had uh, a zombie out here that uh, had the uh, and some infernal mobs enchantments on him, and one of them was apparently a uh, an insta kill thing. When I, I don't know what, what, which one it's called. But apparently when they die, if you touch them, you die. So, um, I, uh, the way that I normally deal with the infernal mobs, as long as they're skeletons or, or uh, zombies, is I will, uh, um, it, it knock their head off from, uh, you know, the mob dismemberment mod. And, uh, that, I just wait for them to die, so it's kind of an easier way to, uh, to deal with them. Well, because I hit them, I died too. For, for, you know, whatever enchantment that he had on him. And, uh, when I died, I died, uh, my gravestone was out here. So I came out here to look for it, and there happened to be one of those, uh, one of those creepy, uh, black things that kind of roam around out here every once in a while. And so he, uh, so I, I turned and I, because I didn't have a weapon on me, I turned to, uh, to run in here, close the door behind me. And I went down to make a, uh, a safari net because the ones that I had were in the gravestone outside. So I go make a safari net. I uh, come up here. I open the door. Hit him. Well, I, I use the net on him. I hit, uh, my computer lags. Uh, and it didn't... I didn't know that if I, if, I, you know, if I captured him or not. So I right-clicked on him again. And apparently I had captured them, and then my second right click released them because I was still cursored on the uh, on the safari net, and that put them back down on the on the ground. Now, when he came back that came back out, when I put him back down, he uh, he showed up with infernal mob enchantments on him, and that was uh, that's what happened in here because the 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 effects that he had happened to be. Um, ghastly, I think, so he shot, you know, explosive fireballs, and stuff started to burn, and so I had to, uh, I had to flee, I had to run down into my mines down there, uh, far enough away that he would despawn and, and hope that my base didn't burn down to nothing. Luckily, it's just pretty much the floor is, uh, is made of wood, so we are okay in that regard, I'll just have to, uh, fix this real quick, but also, I died, uh, well, like I said, I died. And the uh, the gravestone, for some reason, didn't collect my uh, it collected my boots and everything else, but it didn't. I could not find um, my uh, my two pieces of armor, arm, uh, body and legs, and then my goggles of revealing were also missing. So I have no idea what happened to those. I, I looked all over the place. Inside, um, I thought maybe that they uh, appeared in a block, and it pushed him up to the top up there, and, uh, so I went and checked up there, uh, cut some bushes down, didn't see him up there either, so, um, I just had to make new ones for everything, uh, that's okay, because, uh, my body and legs were pretty much broken to begin with, so I didn't care to lose those, I needed new ones anyway, uh, the goggles revealing, um, I really didn't want to have to make new ones, because they're kind of expensive, uh, but that's okay, you know, uh, I got lots of gold now, so it's not really a huge deal. Um, so there's that. But uh, I got a couple things planned today. Let's turn that down. Um, oh yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Is uh, I want to take our new boots. Um, because like I said last time, they have uh, the, the speed boost and the jump boost and... And you can actually swim faster in them. I, I forgot to mention that last time. They, they, uh, the crafting or the infusion mm -hmm. recipe actually calls for a fish, which is kind of funny. But uh, I, I don't really know. I don't really know what what it does. Um, I, it seems to maybe walk faster underwater. I can't really tell. It definitely doesn't swim any faster. Let me, uh, let me get out of here. Uh, but anyways. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, oh, no, not another one of those things. <laughs> oh, 
Oh man, he shot me through the glass. That is not fair. Man, these guys bully me all the time. My gravestone's not even in here, is it? Uh. <clears throat> Alright, well, let me figure out a way to deal with this. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. Um, I just uh, fleed down through the mines again. Uh, come back up, and he was gone. So uh, I, w I went ahead and repaired the floor, and uh, my gravestone is actually right over here. So I got my stuff back. Uh, it doesn't appear to be uh, anything missing this time around. I got everything back, thank thankfully. Um, this here. Uh, I forgot to mention this uh, in the last cut, but uh, one of those things showed up again, one of those black things, and apparently they are called a Nightcrawler. Uh, I was successful in capturing one this time. Um, I'll have to look into what they are from and what they do, uh, because uh, last episode was the uh, the one and only time that I've killed one. It was the first time, and it didn't drop anything. Um, anyth I think it was just a, a heart container that it dropped, which is nothing unique to it. Everything drops, though, so I'll have to figure out uh, exactly what it is that they do, and um, what mod that they're from, because I really don't know. I, I have no no guesses, uh, except for maybe Witchery. Uh, that would be the only one that I can figure that uh, that they come from. But anyways, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use our new boots to do a little bit of um, exploration. What I'm going to do is we're going to go probably off in that direction, because as we've seen... Uh, back in the episode when we were looking for the rubber trees, that it is largely unexplored. Because um, it was all uh, just beyond the uh, the water there is uh, was new generation. So we haven't really explored too much in that direction. So we're going to go that way. Um, uh, pretty much just in a straight line until we find something cool. So um, I'm going to get up on a tree here and see exactly how far that... Uh, that we can get. I tell you what, these boots are just awesome. I didn't even really have to climb anything to get up here. I just kind of jumped up here. Um, and the speed boost is actually uh, translates into the uh, the hang glider too. So it um, it goes much faster as well. So this should be uh, much easier to get around with these boots. Which is so cool. Yep, there's land already. And this is the magic forest that we found last time. I want to get into uh, um, forestry here pretty soon. Uh, the beekeeping and the, uh, the uh, different types of trees it would be... Uh, It'd be really cool to to get into. Um, that's probably going to be a project that we're going to be getting into a, a little bit later. Um, not too much. <laughs> so cool. Getting from uh, treetop to treetop is really super easy now. With these boots, and uh, between the boots and the hang glider, there's really no uh, no trouble getting through just about any type of terrain. And they're so much faster. Ooh, what do we got here? Must be some sort of, uh, some sort of dungeon. Hmm, I wonder if it's a, uh... No. I wonder if, uh, if this comes from... Thomcraft because of the node, or if, uh, I mean, because it's perfectly centered in here. So, 
I wonder if that's, uh... Thumbcraft put that in there. Looks like I'm gonna need some blocks. Oh. All right, let's uh, let's figure out what I'm doing before we go and get ourselves killed here. Alright, well, I'm going to cut here real quick, so that way my computer is a little, little less laggy, because I feel like I'm going to need all the frame rate that I can get in here, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I think I got things pretty much under control. Um, I was able to uh, place torches on these pillars from, from this upper... Uh, upper level here, and that seems to have been enough to disable the spawners. Um, I didn't think it was going to be enough light around the back side of them to, to disable them, but it it seems like it has because they uh, they aren't spawning anything anymore. So I'm gonna take a poke around down here. Yeah, I guess so. I guess there's enough light back here to uh, to disable them. So that's cool. So we'll just uh, take care of the rest of these guys. <laughs> that is so cool. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Um, doesn't look like any of these are trap chests, so... Okay, nothing real good in this one. Some okay stuff in this one. Mm. Another piggy bank. I think I got one of those before, actually. Pretty sure I have one. Steel sword, not that I'll be using it. Oh, what are these? Oblivion frame. Um, I think the frames are for... I think that's for forestry. I think that's a beekeeping thing. I, I'll have to look that up. Um, I'm pretty sure that's for beekeeping. Which is cool, because uh, I actually just mentioned on the way out here that I wanted to get into the forestry mod, so that should help. Um, and this node in the center here is a sinister mod, and it's got, or, uh, node, I mean, and it's got, uh, it's got some decent stuff on it. Um, probably won't capture it, because they're not in very large quantities, but it does have, uh, Perdido and, and air. And, ooh, hello with the big tree. I got that on fire, I think I got, uh, yeah, I'm all charged up. Let's go check out the tree. Where's my... Eat. I wonder if this is one of those... Uh, I bet you this is one of them redwoods. I think this is the... Is that another... Sinister, <clears throat> excuse me. I know the sinister nodes turn grass green, or I mean not green, uh, dark. <gasps> oh, it's another one. Wow. All right. Well, I'm gonna check. Oh, that looked really cool with the lighting glitch. Um, I'll check that out a little bit later. But uh, I wanted to check this tree out oh man there's all kinds of stuff in this area what is this what 
What are you? Is that one of them Undertakers? Dem Demetria Black Wolf. <laughs> what do you got? Just bread. What was that? What the? That's got to be witchery. Um. <laughs> okay, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to see if we can capture you. Nope. Can't capture you. Okay. Well, it was worth a try. Um, I hope... I hope, uh... Here. This is, uh... I don't know if zombies are attracted to them. If they're a villager-type mob. So, uh, we're going to secure you. Hopefully. Or maybe I'll just push you back in your house. No, no. Let's get rid of this. Okay, good. Back in your house. No, no, no. I wonder if... Hmm. I wonder if I can fish you back in the house. Oh. Oh, well. <laughs> um, I'll be right back. Well, I think I screwed up. Because, uh, um, I forgot that the fishing pole counts as an attack. Uh, even though it doesn't do any damage, it still counts as an attack. So, now this witch is, uh, is awfully mad at me. Um, all, all she does is throw stuff at me. Uh, but I got her back in the house. Luckily, it was just poison potions. I don't think she hit me with anything that was offensive, like uh, like uh, a potion of harming or anything like that. Um, I can't be sure though because I don't really, I wasn't really paying attention to my health bar. But um, she's definitely aggressive now, which is unfortunate because I don't know if uh, I could use. I, I have a feeling that she has something to do with with uh, progressing in witchery now. Now, if I angered her, um, hopefully she calms back down. Uh, if she doesn't, then I may need to find a new witch if I want to get into witchery. But something that I've noticed is their nose is animated, which is slightly disturbing. But but anyways, we'll just leave, uh, leave her alone. Uh, something that I noticed while I was dancing around this is off in the distance right over there. I think a village caught my eye, so we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna leave the tree. I know we were gonna check the tree out. Um, man, that's a lot of. It's a lot of wood. Um, we're gonna go check out that because I'm pretty sure that's a village. And villages are definitely what I've been after. Yep, yep, sure is. What do we got here? We got all kinds of people. Got bread, watermelon. Come on, some of you guys are supposed to have some better stuff. See, here we go. Landmine and a tool station for two tin bushes. Got a chicken. Bookcase. What? What are you doing? Is that the same guy? This guy is, must be the village idiot. Is that the same? Okay, um, two of the same thing. What else we got? Nothing in here. Um, I know one of these houses. Aha, this house. This house has, oh my god. That is a lot of patterns. And it's got the full guard. That, uh, these are, I believe, the hidden, man, that is a lot of patterns. These are the hidden, um, hidden weapon for, ooh, and we got parts in here, too. Nothing, oh, slime, 
cactus, flint. Nothing really all that good. Nothing really good at all, so I'm probably not going to take any of these. Um, yeah, I probably won't take any of those. Uh, but the... But the wide guards. These are the secret secret weapons. Um, and these make the cutlass. And the cutlass is a really powerful sword that you can't make otherwise. You have to find the pattern first. And uh, now that we've found it, um, we can make a sweet, sweet new sword. So what I'm going to do here is uh, I want to finish going through this village. I want to do it quickly before nightfall comes because I don't want them to get attacked by zombies. I'm probably going to gather up some of these villagers because I actually brought, I think, four... Yeah, four empty nets. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to gather up the better ones and um, raid the rest of this village. And we'll probably be uh, be heading home. Oh, you know what? I might actually check out that tree after I'm done here. So um, I'm going to get that done and then we'll meet over by the tree. So here we are at the big tree. Um, I finished cleaning out the village. I pulled out what I wanted and captured, uh, I think, three villagers. I... Uh, Turns out I had five nets instead of four, like I thought. I forgot that I, I had picked one up from uh, uh, from a chest somewhere. I think it was on in that other uh, little dungeon thing. Speaking of the dungeon, I cleaned out the other one. Things of note are uh, six knowledge fragments, a builder's wand, thamium hoe, uh, three more ender lily seeds, a paintbrush, and uh, five thamium ingots. Uh, some of the oh, and I got a steel helmet, but that's not really. Not really much of anything, plus a lot of uh, little miscellaneous knick-knack stuff that aren't really worth mentioning. But, what I want to do with this tree is, uh, you can see the, the chest here that I put down. I put down two double chests because I don't know how much wood... I mean, that's a lot of wood. As I, I can only assume that um, it's going to rain wood for days. Uh, I, I can't help myself. I have to cut this down with... With the, this, uh, with the Tinker's Axe, because I just want to see what happens. Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't crash my game. Um, so let's. Uh, this is going to be the final hurrah for this episode because we are just about out of time. So uh, uh, that this is going to be our finishing note. So let's see what happens. Here we go. Oh, well, that was a lot. A lot less dramatic than I thought it was going to be. I guess if it doesn't technically count as a tree, then it only does... Because I did see that in the... Uh, in the... Well, that is disappointing. In the Tinker's Table, when you're building building the, uh, the tool, it does say on the tool tip, uh, under Abilities, it says it fells the whole tree, or... Uh, underneath of it, it says a, I think it's a 3x3 three three area. And, um, so apparently this doesn't count as a tree. It just does the, it actually does a 3x3x2. Uh, three by, three by three by it does, uh, too deep, it looks like. So, that is, that is disappointing. Um, somehow, uh, I'll do this off camera. Um, I'll get up to the top there's two different woods in this well that's cool a bark and uh there's bark where's the other one right there redwood the heart okay well that's cool um i'll do this off camera obviously but uh, i want to collect some of those uh leaves and hopefully or not the leaves but uh break some of the leaves and hopefully get some saplings out of this uh, see if I can grow, grow a couple near our uh, our base there. Um, but anyways, that's gonna do it for this episode. I oh, you know what? I do have that axe of the stream that I picked up. I wonder if that'll work on this. Hmm, I'll have to try that. But anyways, um, so that's gonna do it. Thanks for joining me for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.